Lama Bowie, uh, you helped to end the second civil war in Liberia and jail the president, um, uh, Charles Taylor. Talk about how you accomplished this. Here, uh, of the three of you, you most recently won the Nobel Prize in 2011. What did you do in Liberia? Well, um, one of the things that we were able to accomplish in Liberia was bringing together groups that would not necessarily come together to build peace. Um, Christian and Muslim, if you look at the, the world and the order of the world today, there's a lot of um, religious extremism and fundamentalism. We, we had those subtle um, kinds of issues in Liberia at the time because whilst all of the different warring factions were from the different ethnic groups, but there were undertones, religious undertones. And we knew that if we had to build peace, we needed to bring not just the women together, but women from diverse backgrounds. We have 16 ethnic groups, and with the two major religious groups in Liberia, Christian and Muslims. So we're able to bring those women together to work um, together. And I, I, I would say one of the strategies we used was the, the whole strategy of reconceptualizing religious spaces. A lot of the times, um, people use religion as a means of um, disempowering women. And if you go into the Quranic text and even in the Bible, you find there were some great women. So we use the examples of those very great women um, to talk about how they help to change their time as a Christian. And working with Christian women, we use Deborah, Esther. They were engaged in political issues in biblical times. And when once the narrative of those women had been kind of reconceptualized, the women were able to resonate with it and were able to bring them together. But also not just bringing the groups together, but to protest nonviolently. 14 years of violent uprising. We started with two groups, the government and the warring faction, the, the rebel group. By 2003, we had gone through almost 12 or 13 different armed groups. And so everyone's response to the war was bringing in more violence or bringing in more guns. And we realized that if there were changes that should happen in Liberia, it had to be nonviolent. So we, we protested, we did sit-ins, we, we were just like invading spaces that women would not necessarily be in. How did Charles Taylor, the president, respond to you? Well, initially when we started, we had done an invitation to get him to come and listen to us. And people said, well, if you send one invitation, he's going to say he didn't get it. And I remember us doing six invitations, one to him directly to his office, one through his religious um, council, one through his wife, one through the Speaker of Parliament, one through the President of the Senate, and, and one through, um, I think, his national security person. So six letters of invitation for one event. There was no way that he could have said he didn't receive the letters because we had multiple people telling us they hand delivered it. Of course, he didn't show up because he didn't know how to respond to us. We sat and we just decided we're going to protest and demand three things immediate unconditional ceasefire, dialogue, and the intervention, um, international intervention force. Those were the three things that Taylor has specifically and explicitly said to the international community at the time he wasn't going to do. Liberia was a sovereign nation, and he was not going to allow foreign troops on the ground. He was a legitimate president, and he wasn't going to sit with illegitimate groups. And that talking with them was just going, and then that he would fight until the last soldier died. And so going to him with the things that he was defying the world with and saying, we will protest until you give us. And so it's like more or less, you're defying the world and we are defying you that we'll continue to invade your space until you give it to us. So those, and, and finally he had to give in and finally he had to say, okay, I'll go to the peace table. But then going to the peace table did not end our protest. We continue until um, the pressure from us, the pressure from other African leaders and the rest of the world forces arms to resign at the end of the day. So, 
We're going to break, and when we come back, I want to ask you about the sex strikes uh, that you engaged in in Liberia that made an enormous difference. Um, we are joined right now by Lema Bowie. She is the 2011 Nobel Peace Prize winner. Mairead Maguire, she won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1976. And you will also be hearing from Jody Williams, who won in 1997. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. We're broadcasting live from the the Hague, from the World Forum of The Hague. It's the 100th anniversary of the Women's International League of Peace and Freedom. Stay with us.